going on everybody? San Joaquin Jr. here. We've been traveling through Colorado, doing some sightseeing as we're passing through a little town. Decided to uh, pull up on this cop watch here. It's Colorado State Patrol. Looks like he's coming for back though. He's like, go three, we got three guys out here with phones recording me. You know, this is the thing about these police officers in other states. They're still confused about the whole First Amendment protected activity of filming police officers in the course of their duty. While some states or even some cities might have a better understanding of it, in rural areas like this one, police often don't know the people's rights. Either that or they just pretty much don't give a shit about them. How's it going, man? Guys, make sure you go subscribe to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Lights crispy. So I've been with the State Patrol for a little over a year now. A little over a year? You look pretty young, man. <laughs> How old do you feel, mind me asking? In my 20s. 20s? So, nice. So you like, you, you like your job? Oh, I so love far? it. I absolutely love this. Do you ever be WC activated? Of course. Uh, yep. Yep, uh, anytime I'm... So, what great thing about these cars is the lights, when you turn them on, automatically activates mm -hmm. dash cams and body cams. Nice. So, that's wonderful. Yep. You let her go with a warning? <laughs> uh, that's up for her to discuss. That's not something oh. I can really discuss. I don't know if it's in our neighborhood. It's public record. That's okay if you don't want to talk about it. But you've had a great attitude so far. Yeah. We're just on vacation with our family. Nice. Family. Where are you guys from? I'm, I'm from the 70s. <laughs> no, I'm from Florida. You guys from the other side of the country. Well, let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah, absolutely. I, I ask every officer that I encounter the mm -hmm. same question, and I'm trying to figure out the patterns. Um, something you can't answer. It's non-political stuff like that. But uh, do you happen to know the five fundamental freedoms of the First Amendment? What do you mean by that? You mean the what five the basic mean? rights that are covered under the First Amendment of the Constitution? And if you don't know the answer, would you make a good faith effort to know it? I was going to say, I can give you, like, the rough stuff. I might not know it for better. You know yeah, so it's going to be just your uh, freedom of religion, freedom of press, uh, freedom of self-expression, protest, which is kind of the same thing. Um, Seek redress for your government. From your government. Yeah. Sorry, I'm Previous. having a bit of a brain no, fart I, on this right, right now. And, like, what we're doing, assembly, you got them almost all. So it's religion, press, uh, speech, speech mm -hmm. assembly, and petition. Okay. And uh, you know, protest kind of falls under all of that stuff under assembly or speech. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, press. What you, you guys are doing, be... completely legal. I don't. My biggest concern when I was watching you guys was making sure you guys didn't fall in yeah. right, right, the right, wrong way, right, right. and just making sure you guys were safe. And, you know, three guys surrounds, kind of one over here, one over there, one over there. Puts me on a little bit of edge, but I didn't. I know what right. you guys are doing. It's we, we illegal. Give you enough room to react exactly. if we did have a bad pitch, but we don't. Exactly. I could tell just by the way you guys handled yourself, you weren't going to cause any kind of issues for me. So I was more worried about you guys not falling or just getting in the roadway. So yeah. uh, it doesn't. You yeah, stay frosty, things. man. That's part of the job. Exactly. You you assess the threat. Mm -hmm. There is none. Yeah. Do you do you ever see like police interaction videos like on YouTube? And stuff I've like seen that? a few. Yeah. 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 You follow any channels? Nope. My voice don't sound familiar. <laughs> no, it does not. Man, you know, I, I definitely appreciate your good attitude and the answers to questions. That that question that I asked you, uh, I kind of began at, uh, asking cops that question over and over again. And I, I found a pattern that cops don't really seem to know them all. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys swear an oath to the Constitution Absolutely. to get that job. So I believe it's important that you guys actually know this verbatim. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I hopefully, when I'm done with my work here, Hopefully, we can have every cop remember these fundamental freedoms of the people because we have a lot of stuff going on, you know, yeah. red versus blue, left versus right, and everybody's pointing the finger at each other. 
But I think once people start to begin to understand their own natural rights, they begin to respect other people's natural rights. You know, and it just seems like, you know, I, I began to see this pattern of cops not really knowing the First Amendment, at least the First Amendment. Yeah. And uh, I think that's kind of troublesome, man. And I hope next time I talk to you, if I ever see you again, right. or if you find my channel, I'm pretty sure you will. Um, I hope next time I talk to you, you can stay off five or like that. Yeah. Try. Tell yeah. your buddies. Yeah. Let them know. You know, it's really been good. And, you know, a lot of uh, agencies push to get IDs. Let's get their IDs and run them and find out if we have a uh, criminal or something. And if, if people don't know that it's their Fourth Amendment right to be secure in their papers, and they don't have to give you an ID unless they commit a crime. Catch bad guys fair and square, right? Mm -hmm. Don't violate rights. No reason to. Right on, brother. Another quick question, man. Absolutely. Are you working for two departments right now? Because it looks like a very dead man. Uh -huh. <laughs> is, is that the entire... Uh, this, is, yeah. this is Colorado State. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are ours. This is the goes back. Okay. Patrol is supposed to be the most professional agency out there. Uh, is that is that is that how it is out here in Colorado as well? Like, it's, more, you guys consider yourself a more professional agency? Or? I would say overall, yes. We try to keep the stand Every high standards. Every agency is different. So we are, I would say we keep. We care a lot about the small things for a lot of people. Speaks a hundred languages, man. <laughs> hey, that's all you need. Yeah. I asked him a question a little bit ago, and uh, I asked every officer that I encountered the same question. You can't answer it. It's not really like that. But do you have to remember the five fundamental, fundamental freedoms uh, of the First Amendment? Five basic rights covered in the protected First Amendment. And if you don't know them, you make a good faith effort to learn it. Yeah, your freedom of speech, freedom of press. Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling, man. Yeah, I trained Jiu-Jitsu too. Nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's fun, huh? <laughs> hey, would you, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Would you think that Jiu-Jitsu has helped you out with your your uh, work and stuff like that? I, I do. I really do. Uh, so, um, yeah, right. The discipline in martial arts is a great thing. I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to... I believe in it so much, my kids are going to do it. Um, so, just being able to know how to control yourself, you know, I don't get all amped up. Uh, most of the people we honestly fight with are intoxicated. So, it's not 
like we go somewhere and it's just like a right. like a, a straight yeah. brawl type thing. It's just right. someone intoxicated, just all amped up for the night. So if you can stay calm and you're not worried about having to like amp yourself up to try to hurt someone, I, you know, it's beneficial. Jiu-Jitsu, the ground game um, side of it, Jiu-Jitsu is primarily like a ground defense. Yeah. Right? That's us, uh, us in our attire, you know, with all our equipment stuff, isn't always good for us. Right. Um, specifically, right, I'm not going to sit in full guard. Yeah, 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 stuff. yeah. yeah. Um, You're but, blasting double legs. <laughs> Right. Um, just being able to put someone's arm behind their back without harming them and doing it super efficiently to where I can hold them in a position until my backup comes if I'm by myself. Right. Or, you know, and then just having that cardio and everything. Would you say it also keeps you humble as well in certain situations? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure, right? You have a 140 pound guy that, that whoops me like nothing, you know. Right on a regular basis that, a, that's a, very a slick purple yeah, belt that knows how to invert right, and stuff yeah, like that you're like oh they're really hard for us to, to handcuff a lot of times when they're flexible and, and super bendy yeah and, they get that yeah. And, and you don't want to like hurt them run, right? yeah but i mean it comes to a point where we have to get handcuffs on them oh yeah for sure that uh, it would benefit this country if all cops had to maybe at least get a blue belt you know what I mean? Or have at least some kind of training in jiu-jitsu. Right, so I'm a little biased towards that time with jiu-jitsu guy. I actively compete in IBJJF. So, oh, okay. Uh, I do jiu-jitsu world league. I haven't competed IBJJF yet, but I just got my blue belt like two months ago. Guys, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Get his kids into it. And my son wrestles. He just won a first national title in Reno back yeah, a, a awesome. month ago. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so I, uh, when I transferred to this department, I've been really interested in becoming a defensive tactics instructor. And that was one of the things that I was able to find is out east in like the Virginia, uh, Chicago areas, they actually do that where you go to the academy and you become a blue belt in jiu-jitsu and then you have to maintain at least a blue belt through your law enforcement career. Nice. I think that should be a, I believe that should be a universal thing, man. Like police, it, it, one, you, I'm sure you guys have encountered it at your guys' departments. There's some hotheads in there, right? And you can point out who the hotheads in your department are probably. And you're like, if that dude could probably be home with a little bit. Out here at least? I haven't encountered anyone like that. I mean, I've worked in the prison three and a half years before this. Okay. I'm going to say I've seen more timid people. Timid? Well, scared right people, right? Timid, Nervous, right? right? Nervous, that's right? Quiet. Quiet, I okay. Quiet's a better word. Man Dark Man has said the most important uh, is six inches of the amount of field that in your ears. You exercise that when you saw us command your assessors and said, you're not And we stayed across the state. So that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah, you made a good threat assessment. You made a good threat we're not just going around tagging us, we're just making sure. And we are fair, we're going to put this on our channels and let the stars shine. The snowflakes will melt with some other agents. And I see you as a shining example of how to behave with the citizens. Right, yeah, we record everything anyways. I know we've had issues with people coming into crime scenes and trying to record and stuff. Um, which is a different story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's, not a there's public access and stuff. And, and traffic stops are another big one. People think that they can just walk wherever. In it, but, you know, given this day and age, right, we don't know you guys. Obviously, you guys are out here just expressing your lives. You and you guys are armed. So but, you <laughs> risk on right. both sides. But we, we scared. that's right. We bring a gun everywhere we go. So right. we have three people circling us ambush type things that have been happening to law enforcement. It's unfortunate, but you know, we do have to stay aware and it's not a big deal for us to ask for extra officer all the time. For sure. You know, once we figure out what's going on, we're able to see where we go. They just ask a question. Are you guys ever going to work to get your chevrons? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know, I heard, I heard you say that you would like to become maybe a training officer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I know the next step for me in my personal career Coming a field training officer, so training our new employees that come in my hometown in Bakersfield, California. Um, I asked, I stumbled upon two training officers, and I asked them if they knew the First Amendment, and they didn't know it. And uh, I was like, "Oh man, this is this tells a bigger story, you know? Like, what are you really training on? Brute force and compliance, or can we get some of that? You know, some some of the the natural 
platform rights of the people, get that into some of the training as well. So right? just in perspective, I know for me personally, when I first started in law enforcement, I was big at trying to, to know, you know, everyone's civil rights yes. initially, right? Now it's more of like a, I don't essentially look over them every day, that's why I can't tell you verbatim, but I can tell you when someone is doing something they shouldn't be doing and affecting us to where I have to take their civil rights away. Um, because that's essentially what our job is, right? We have to do a lot of paperwork and our reports and everything are explaining why we take some of the civil rights away. Mm -hmm. You know, we do a traffic stop, so we're not free to go. Mm -hmm. We are detaining them for that stop. You know, about the cameras, sometimes the agencies will circle the wagons and they don't release it after, let's say, they had a traffic stop and they shot a guy and then they say that the guy shot himself. So we'll show us the cameras. Yeah, it's so... Hammond, Indiana. I, I can't speak on that um, as far as knowing the ins and outs of all that. I just know that for us, when we have OIS, officer involved shootings, mm -hmm. that essentially a shoot team comes and takes it over. Oh, yeah. And so it's still under investigation for a long time. Right. And then, so I, I'm not sure exactly what, at what point it becomes public information, right? So, like, so Colorado, it's part of that is through the district, the district attorney and another agency will investigate. So right. if I got into a shooting, he can investigate for another shooting. Um, and that's, typically it doesn't become public record until it goes to court. Once you take court, public record, then it can be dispersed, but until then, unless the agency or something necessitates it. Because um, like you said, the, you know, the gamblers should have that. There's also stuff going on in the background. Some psychopaths want that badge, want to treat it like a crown. Overall, and atrocious crimes against people. That's why we have to do this California is really bad about it. Yeah, California is. Trying to just show So I came from Arizona, moved out here when I was a kid. I've been to Arizona like three, four times. The police out there in Arizona, man, let me tell you, completely different environment there. Those police are on ears perked up all the time and ready to go after people. Oh man! Yeah, and yeah. Le and let me just let me just say this: you guys have a way better attitude than those police over there, man. Uh, we we weren't even. I think part of that is just when you're working homicide after rape after assault, it just you lose. Unfortunately, some people just lose their humanity. Become out of touch. show good interactions like this they just like the uh the craziness right, right. I, i've always put the good and the bad you know because I, I want for instance i want other cops to see you guys and your attitude and i want you guys you guys, channel, bro. You guys lead by example because you guys are right to you guys are shining right now man <laughs> I just wanted to look it up myself. Right? Yeah, please. I, my friend. I have a smaller channel as well if you guys want to write it down. No, what's there? Mine's San Joaquin Valley Transparency. San Juan what? San Joaquin, J O A Q U I N. Joaquin. J O A Q U I N. Q U I N. Yeah, 
Joliet Valley. Transparency. I know it's long. <laughs> if you just type in San Joaquin, you'll find my channel. I love this range. I get to do. Yeah, I actually watch a lot, a lot of these First Amendment videos. Yeah. Just to see, I'm a newer officer, right? So. Yeah. And those type of so videos examples. help me out and kind of handle myself because it's a lot, right? We go through a 16 week academy, and then we come out here on the road, and we have a, a book of laws this big. Yeah. You kind of thrust it into it, and you're not really. <laughs> yeah, that's my specialty. Yeah, there's a big, big section of that, right? So yeah. it, it's a lot. Being a cop is overwhelming at times. Well, you'll see on our channels there are many examples and many warnings. Decide which one is which. I hope people will understand this is the way to be. This is good community policing, right? That's what we got to get back to. The more broken windows. You know? yeah. I, hope you, I hope you get your Chevrons, man. I think I think you deserve it, man. You have good attitude. You're doing your best to you know you know the rights of the people. And uh, I, I just I, I truly appreciate that, bro. I'm gonna post this on my channel. Yeah, for sure, man. Did you type? Did you write down my channel as well? You guys have different channels. Yeah, yeah. This is my son right here. It's my oldest son. If cops give me attitude, man, I don't give them my channel. <laughs> I let their their uh, partners and friends let them know where they're at. You know. I want you guys to read the comments when you watch this video and uh, and see you know how the people you know react with when you guys have this type of attitude. You guys talk to us. You know you're not trying to you know, violate our rights. You're not trying to look down upon us or nothing like that. You just you guys are very respectful. I, I just yeah I want to say I appreciate that. Thank you guys for your That's hospitality, good. man. Thank you. Do you doing good, man? I do. <laughs> I always do it for all <laughs> you guys take care. Thanks. You too, man. What's the badge number? 139267. 139267. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Be you safe out there. Yeah, I'll take part. Yeah, fine. Be safe out there, man. I hate seeing those videos of troopers on the side of the road, man. Those you are the worst. That I know of eight or nine troopers this year. Tell me about it. My personal show. One's too many, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a dangerous thing to be on the side of the highway and. People aren't paying attention, you know what yep. I'm saying? Unsavory people. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Well, we're going to... We we'll you guys probably have a long day ahead Yeah. We'll let you guys get out of here, man. You guys just traveling through here then? Yeah. Yeah, man. I've been enjoying Colorado so far. Oh, tsh, I love Colorado. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to go back to California. Yeah, California, oh, man. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Those Glenwood Hot Springs took away my muscle. It's <laughs> 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 great. Have you guys been down there? Glenwood Hot Springs? I've been to Glenwood. I haven't ever been to that hot springs. Oh, you gotta try the hot springs, man. This is a fellow devil dog, too. Yeah, Marine Corps. Four years. Yeah, brother. Thank you. Took that same old you did. There's no expiration For sure. Alright, Miss Katty, you guys have a good one, man. Yeah, you too. Safe travels. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.